broadcasting out worldwide on this Sunday live transmission, the 21st day of June, 2015. Jakari Jackson will join us from Charleston, South Carolina, the scene of Wednesday night's massacre at the hands of, well, someone who appears to come out of central casting. All the scripting leading up to what happened Building towards the crescendo of the summer, black unemployment doubling, record numbers of blacks being aborted, record numbers of troops committing suicide, record numbers of troops, biggest percentage, uh, according to race breakdown, being black, committing suicide, being put on, don't treat death list. It's all building towards a crescendo, but you think the only thing mattering in the country is not the TPP being rammed out of the House into the Senate. It's not the U.S. building up towards war with Russia. No, the only issue is nine tragically killed and cold-blooded black parishioners at a church, a historic church with Juneteenth this weekend. And the NAACP meeting coming up in a few weeks, Reverend Childress and others who are black pastors have told me this thing stinks to high heaven. And the usual suspects, Al Sharpton, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, they're all calling to restrict the Second Amendment as if this crazy couldn't have used his car on Sunday morning to run over 50 or more people and kill them in that parking lot. Or as, or as if he couldn't have stolen a gun and gone and done it. Even when crime using guns is down over 50% according to the government's own numbers. But I'm not going to sit here and just belabor all of that today. I put a video out yesterday because of several phone calls I got and things that were also weighing on my mind with the headline, Total Emergency Alert, Elite Now Evacuating. And they've been doing it for a while. But now that evacuation is speeding up to a breakneck speed. And I'm going to go over today why some of that is happening. And how that ties into headlines like this one. Earth enters sixth extinction phase with many species, including our own, labeled the walking dead. A major new university governmental analysis that the Earth passed its carrying capacity decades ago and is going into a collapse. Artificially, that is true. And I've been obsessing on this for 18 years of my 20-year career. I wasn't aware of all this when I first started out. I was aware of a lot of it, but not all of it. Well, none of us are aware of all of it. I was aware of some of it, not most of it, like I am now. And the decision has been made... That's a key term I use a lot. The decision has been made. The course has been set. The hammer has been dropped. The train left the station. The cows got out of the gate. The genie's out of the bottle. That ship already sailed. That the globalists are going to save the planet by exterminating humanity. And at the same time, achieving the holy grail of life extension technology to merge with the supercomputers of the future and become super homo sapien or God. It's legendary, it's epic, it's over the top, it's reality. Because truth is stranger than fiction. So when we come back, total emergency alert breakdown on the state of the planet. Then we'll delve into the events that have taken place in Charleston with Jakari Jackson, who's on the scene. Amazing videos, documenting and chronicling and all at InfoWars.com. Welcome, my friends. Welcome and thank you for joining us for this live edition. Sunday, the 21st day of June, 2015. I'm your host, Alex Jones. We'll be here for the next two hours, as we are every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. want to welcome all of our affiliates and listeners. Thank you so much for joining us today. It really hit me yesterday at about noon. 
just how precarious and unstable this global house of cards has gotten. And so I feverishly called up my cousin, Buckley Hammond, who works as one of the managers here at InfoWars, and asked if I could come over to his place and if he would shoot a video to upload it to basically alert the public to recent developments. And that video is up on InfoWars.com. It's red-linked. Total emergency alert. Elite are now evacuating. Signs of a coming financial meltdown are accelerating at an alarming rate. And in that 12 and a half minute video, I cover the waterfront. And I'm going to try to do that here today in the first hour. Then in the second hour, we'll be joined by Jakari Jackson from Charleston, South Carolina, the scene of Wednesday night's tragic nine dead at the hands of a Fruit Loop, no matter how you look at it. And then interspersed with all of that news, there's the incredible NATO buildup against Russia. There's the Pope endorsing world government, a planetary, quote, institution to tax us, to save the planet, of course. And that ties in to Earth entering its sixth extinction phase with many species, including our own, labeled the walking dead. That's from Stanford, Princeton, and Berkeley. You see, the establishment is getting ready for a spectacular global meltdown that then cascades into other meltdowns. And at each meltdown point, more of our liberties are given up to the global government to save us from the intensifying crises. But at the end of the tunnel, we discover, those of us that are left, it was all a setup to begin with. So I think really to understand everything that's happening in our world, it's, it's really important not to focus in on the minutia and instead focus on what the establishment is saying itself to each other about the course of the species on this planetoid orbiting the sun. This human settlement. The only one we've got at this point. But the decision has been made that this spaceship cannot carry all these people. This planetoid. The decision has been made to exterminate almost everybody. And of course, those quotes are legion from the United Nations and the White House. Science czar and countless others, Prince Philip, Prince Charles, Ted Turner, George Soros, Adolf Hitler, the list goes on and on. But if, if you don't understand that, you won't understand anything. And know this, when you hear the government-run media telling you they care about nine lives, telling you they care about black people or anybody else for that matter, it is a load of sophistic tripe. It is a mountain of fraud. It is a lie. It is a sick joke. Unemployment has doubled in seven years of Obama for black people. More than half the black population was never born since Roe v. Wade. They were aborted. Black veterans are, from the articles I've got in the admissions, probably the most neglected and abused group of veterans. Hung out to dry. The black community is a test tube research for how to break down the family and wreck society. And that's all declassified. And they would have you believe that they care about nine dead. And the answer to uh, stopping violence is to ban guns in everybody's hands but the government. We'll be going over all of that today. And the shooting overnight where more than 10 people were wounded, several killed in Detroit, where black gang members fired on a group of 400 people having a party. 
And I guess at the end of the day, Hillary Clinton would say it's my fault. No, it's the fault of MTV and a culture that pushed gangsterism as tough and cool. To be technical, 11 people shot, one dead. One may die. But that's buried in the news. In Philadelphia, seven people, including two kids, critical after gunman randomly fires in street. This stuff goes on every day. 14 dead a week in Chicago on average, mainly black on black. But it barely makes a headline, even locally. But when a white person kills nine black people, it makes international headlines because it's part of the divide and conquer to get us all fighting with each other. So we'll break it all down in the second hour with Jakari Jackson, who will be live via Skype from Charlton, South Carolina. That said, we're going to go to break here in a few minutes. And I'm going to come back and lay out for you as simply and as focused as I can the state of the world right now and why we're in so much danger. And I'm not telling you we're in that danger just to scare you. I'm telling you that information so that we can hopefully get enough discussion going and enough concern that cooler minds will prevail inside corporations and government around the world. And so things can be thought about a little bit more so that the very small group of globalists cannot manipulate society down this road. Most people, even in major power positions, are ignorant of the larger plan. And just by exposing the plan, it gets in a lot of trouble. It was three years ago, four years ago really, but three years ago that we were hammering every day the fact that criminal groups in our government and other Western governments, NATO, Turkey, many other nations, were funding radical jihadis out of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and other countries to launch ethnic cleansing operations against Christians and non-radical Muslims in Libya, Egypt, Syria, Iraq, and other areas. And our own military, at the grassroots, mainly non-commissioned officers, said no to that and sent thousands of photos to the Pentagon and to the White House and to Twitter holding up signs saying, I will not fight for Al-Qaeda in Syria, Infowars.com. As much as a third of the photos said Infowars.com on it. So that folks could find out why they were saying that and come back and read our articles. I didn't join the Navy to fight for Al-Qaeda in Syrian civil war. I didn't join the Marine Corps to fight for Al-Qaeda in a Syrian civil war. I didn't join the Navy. You know, there are the signs. I didn't join the military to get involved in other countries' civil wars. Stay out of Syria. I will not fight for Al-Qaeda in Syria. Wake up. That was just one article of many. And the reason I raise that point is by exposing how over the top this stuff is, whether it's TPP or whether it's open borders or whether it's gun control or whatever the case is, it gives other people a chance to debate it and discuss it and, and it causes other discussions to begin. And then sanity can prevail because the average person in the military, the average person in government, the average person in the police department, the average person who's a librarian or a school teacher or a farmer or a factory worker or a lawyer is not a bad person. They're just not aware of what's happening. It's our job to, to set the alarm. We'll be back. Alex Jones coming to you live from deep in the heart of Texas, Austin, broadcasting worldwide. Thank you for joining us today. I don't have words, as I said in the emergency report that I posted yesterday to InfoWars, to describe just how serious things are. But just get this through your head if you're a new listener. I believe everything I'm saying here, and I have historical and current evidence to back up my claims. There has been an exodus in the last few years of the elite out of the United States and out of Israel and other Western countries to areas like New Zealand. All major economists agree that the debt bubble and currency bubbles are unsustainable. 